So today we're going to take a look at the uh, Marvel Legends figure, Venom. So I had picked this figure up from uh, GameStop and um, I was super ha happy to see it there. Um, and I had actually seen it on the Tuesday night and had to wait to get some money. Went back on Wednesday and he was still there. So uh, lucky me. So looking into the box, um, as with <laughs> Carnage, this one is uh, white, which is really neat. I think it makes him look a little more special. Um, got the Eddie Brock bio on the back, a picture of the figure, the builder figure, the figures that make up the builder figure. On the side you got the artwork, um, which again I always complain about. I wish that uh, it was a little more pronounced. I'd like to see a little more of it. Um, but that is neither here nor there. Now let's take a look at the figure itself, if I can get it open. Again, the great part about Marvel Legends figures uh, is that you can open up this box and um, still maintain uh, the integrity of the box itself, which is nice. I really like this right off the bat, this buck. It feels really solid. I like the shape of it. Um, I don't know if they use it on a bunch of other figures, but it's a, it's a really nice base figure. And I'm sure people uh, know that they use that on other things. Um, you'll let me know in the comments. Um, it really could use some toe articulation. That would have been nice. That's where um, Toy Biz always shined. Does have the rocker ankles. Um, one thing I don't like about a bunch of the figures that they tend to get a little more cartoony look. I don't know why they do that on some of them. I know they're the comic book version, but um, this one I would really love to just do a repaint of the face to get rid of those horrific eyebrows. Or even if I made them blonde, I think it would make the figure look a lot better. Um, there's something about those giant eyebrows that I, I, don't, I don't care for. I don't know whether that's a, a universal thing, but I would assume it is. Then comes with the alternate uh, Venom head, which one thing that I really like about this other head, I'm just going to take Eddie's head off, is that um, he does not have that protruding tongue. I really like it when they when they do away with the tongue. I mean, I think that's a, that's good for like a figure, but they tend to do it a lot. Um, just in general, he did it with the lizard, um, um, maybe some of the other symbiotes. We are Venom. Alright, that was uncalled for, but still fun. I do like this figure a lot. Yeah, to be honest with you, other than him being that he could use some toe articulation, I really don't have any uh, critiques about this figure. The paint job's good, the head sculpt is good. <clears throat> like I started off with, the buck is is really, really nice. Um, if you want to repaint it and even use it for um, a generic superhero body, it works really well. Um, would have been nice to come with uh, an extra set of hands. So that he's not all punchy, but um, that's a, I think a minor gripe. Yeah, so if you're a fan of uh, Spider-Man, if you're a fan of Venom, especially with the upcoming movie, um, I think these figures will uh, shoot up in value for a little while. Not that that's why I bought it, it's not. Um, <clears throat> I've never bought a single figure in hopes of, uh, hey, I'm gonna make more money off it. 
Um, for me, I always found it sad to be, to be the opposite way. Um, like I bought a bunch of Hot Toys figures and some of them I made good money on. Most of them, um, you lose money. But I always picked them up because I wanted them. And even as far as doing uh, customizing, um, I do it because with the, my Aries figure, I do it because, you know, I want the figure to be, um, to me, a little bit better than how it came out of the package. So, anyway, that's what I got. Um, since it's Friday night, I hope everybody's getting ready for a really good weekend. And um, I will catch you later. Bye. Keep watching for the next video. Come back soon. Bye.